if you are making your own pizza dough at home, one absolute necessity that you must have to get consistent results is a baker's scale. Today, I'm going to compare for you the two most popular dual platform scales on Amazon. Why is it important to use a scale when you're making pizza dough? Weighing ingredients is vastly more accurate and precise than using measuring cups and spoons, but weight is always going to be consistent. You weigh your flour, you weigh your water, you weigh your yeast. So why is it important to have a dual platform scale when making pizza dough? Well, there's a larger side and a smaller side. The larger side is good for weighing heavier ingredients in your dough, like water and flour, right? So I'll actually sit the whole bowl on this side over here to weigh out my water and my flour. Those are the heavy ones. And on this little one, your finer ingredients like yeast and salt and sometimes sugar, if you like to put that in your dough, or oil uh, can be weighed on this side. And it's much more accurate and precise to have the dual platforms. Now, I make dough multiple times a week, so I use both of these scales and have used them for well over two years each and have had great results. But let's talk about some of the differences. Here are both scales side by side. Let me point out a few of the differences. Both feature large, easy to read displays. The KitchenAid display is definitely brighter and easier to read than the Uni display. Certainly not a deal breaker on either. Both feature dual platforms. This larger square platform actually works better when you have very large bowls like this with a ring on the bottom, um, it holds the entire bowl. I find that the bowl will slide off if you have this style with the ring. Uh, it's sort of a little bit larger than, than the, the bottom of the bowl. The dual platforms over here, the smaller are also very similar, this being a little bit larger. And there's not really a huge benefit to having a large platform here. I use a little cup like this to set on there and I'll pour my yeast and salt into there just like that. Now, one thing I noticed in performance, you can see when I set it on here, the KitchenAid, I've always found it to be accurate. But you see how it sort of toggles a little bit and it has this like variability that frustrates me from time to time. Can you see that where the uni one is a little bit more rock solid. As soon as you put it on there, it weighs it. You're done. OK, but we do have this variability here on this side. Um, and usually it's small variability, but when you're measuring fine ingredients, that does make a difference on the KitchenAid. They both feature the sort of, uh, they call it the tear feature. And what that does is it allows you to set the bowl down and then you can sort of zero it out, right? So if you want to zero it out, you see now this is saying that it weighs nothing. And then you can put the next ingredient in there and you can see all set. Very easy, makes it much, much simpler. The same way you would, you would set this cup on here. Actually, let's do it on this one. The same way you would put the cup on here and then you would zero out, right? And then you would add your ingredients and you have a precise measure. To recap, both of these are very effective tools. I recommend and use both of them and have been doing so for quite some time now. And this one, uh, I do like the size of the platform a little bit better, but this one's a little bit more steady and has a little bit more precision and less variability in the weight. The display is a little bit brighter and easier to use here, but really a nice display on the Uni one as well. So you're not going to go wrong with either scale. If you're a beginner, this is an absolute must have. If you're a seasoned pro and looking to upgrade, these are two great upgrades. I would suggest though, just starting with a quality piece of equipment, like either of these scales, rather than working with the cheap stuff, it will save you frustration. And these are built to last. I've had them a while and I beat them up pretty good. So save yourself the time, the effort, and get yourself some better dough results with one of these dual platform baker scales.